In this model of a sagittal view through the head, we can see various digestive and respiratory structures. If we think about the respiratory system, this is the nasal cavity. This is the soft palate and hard palate. So the nasal cavity is superior to the hard palate. The nasopharynx is superior to the soft palate. The, the tip of the inferior tip of the soft palate is called the uvula. In the wall of the nasopharynx, we'll find an opening for the eustachian tube or auditory tube. And in the posterior wall, we'll find a tonsil, also known as an adenoid. The oral cavity, of course, is the space between the hard palate and the tongue. If we exit the back surface of the oral cavity, we're now in the oropharynx. So the borders of the oropharynx are the uvula and the epiglottis. This is the opening into your airway. This is the trachea, and this is the true and false vocal cords. This is considered the larynx, cartilages that make up the top part of the uh, airway. In cross-section, this represents the tracheal cartilage. This is the epiglottis. This is the hyoid bone found in the base of the tongue. The opening into the airway from the pharynx, from the throat, is called the laryngopharynx. What you should notice in this case is that the digestive tract begins posterior to the airway. So this is your trachea, this is your esophagus. And what's found directly behind or posterior to the esophagus is the vertebral column.